Yeah, frog monster. I think... I think I saw... What's up, Gregory? How you doing? I think I saw Shiba playing that. It's like a first-person kind of... I don't know. Kind of strange-looking. Or not strange, but... Yeah. I think that's Frog Monster. Maybe it's a different game. Looks cool. Hello, vegetable oil. Welcome. Welcome. What kind of vegetable oil? Yeah, Voxel first person. Okay. I saw him fighting some centipede boss, like by, whoops, going inside of it. Oh, hello. Yeah, he was just like, I always like those, those levels, whoops, in video games. Uh, I might turn this down a little bit. Tiny bit. Where you go inside of an enemy, and you gotta kill them from the inside out. Alright, let's just do this right here a little bit. Any kind you like. How about... I'm a, I'm a big fan of extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> In fact, I used to be, like, really into, like, trying to obtain the best extra virgin olive oil, unfiltered, with sediment in it for flavor. Anyway. Oh, so last night I played a little bit off camera. <laughs> and did I empty my recycle bin already? Hang on. It's just schmack. No. It's one of these. Well, e either one. I'll just restore one. So I... I recorded... I thought I was recording. <laughs> uh, I was recording... And I got... Circle... Wait, did I cast it? No. Let me just close this. Oops. Uh... I got Circle of Buoyancy. I just sat there teleporting into parallel worlds and then I kept checking like the first couple holy mountains and eventually after like 12 parallel worlds I found it in the holy mountain in the first holy mountain and I recorded that to show everyone on stream and the VOD and video whatever but I was in streamer mode <laughs> so this is what I recorded instead of switching over to my uh, recording scene collection. I was still in stream scene collection and whoops. Recorded this by accident. So there we go. Anyway, and I, I guess I bought a perk too. I forgot which one. Oh no, I didn't buy it. I don't know. Whatever, but that that's what I recorded. Just a bunch of crap. Um, how's the audio right now? Again, before I get it all situated here. Yo! Yo, let me just cast this. Let's put that up there. Ow. <laughs> hey, Arcus Satorius, welcome. Thank you for the Prime sub. Y-E-S, yes, yes, yes! Boom. It's a voxel first-person Metroidvania. That sounds cool. I can't get it yet, though. I need to not keep buying millions of video games that I never end up playing. That's what I'm trying to do today, is, like, I'm trying to finish Pseudo Regalia soon. I may end up just playing Reventure, though, for fun. I just want to chill and play some games, you know? Whatever. Thanks, Arcus Satorius. Appreciate you. Sounds good. Nice. Thank you all. All right, worms, get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. 
Molten glass, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> People are like, that's nice. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Molten glass. That's one of the materials we didn't have. Hell yes, gold. Who cares about gold? We don't need that crap. What's this? Whoops. <laughs> we need toxic gold. We need to get a toxic gold flask. Boop. All right, cool. That's cool. That's like a real nice uh, sign of things to come. I'm glad I decided to start off the stream by doing this. Hell yeah. Thanks, MZ. So I think with this, we'll try one more for now. I think with this, I can store it near the molten metals and keep it molten, you know? But I think I could use Mimikium to make a bunch of it and then just let it sit out in the air to harden into glass powder. So I think we just got two materials right there. That's awesome. Check, check. I feel like, maybe it's just my ears. I just got out of the shower. Been waking up late and then like going for runs or wa long walks. And then I, then I shower afterwards and stream. So I've been outside for the last like hour and a half. It's so hot out there. I don't I don't recommend it. <laughs> but uh Let's go through the materials and see what we are missing. What we can get that we're missing. Molten glass. We're going to build things out of glass. Um Hang on. Wait, let me do this. Hi, I'm streaming. We're playing a touch of Noita and then maybe some Reventure or Rain World or uh, don't do it, Powerhouse. I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know if you're here in chat right now. It's okay. <laughs> or, uh, VA proxy demo. <laughs> or more. Oh my god, powerhouse. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thanks, powerhouse. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so like right now I feel like things sound... Hang on. Check, check. Whatever. Anyway. Um, Maybe the mic is too loud? What? Whatever. Anyway, I gotta get used to it. So a lot of this stuff we can't get in a flask or a bag. It's not possible to get it. I mean, I could kill enemies... But then it's just all going to turn into rotten meat anyway. Like, I could bring enemies to my base, and then we could get this meat, but it's not going to stay like that. We might be able to collect... I don't know if fully cooked meat, if these rot. We're going to experiment with cooking also. We're going to make a, a little kitchen. Hey, Kobe. What's up? How you doing? Didn't follow the EOE process so far. Do you just randomly cast it and hope for the best or search for pixel? Just cast it. I don't want to use the pixel external tools or anything like that. At least not for a long time. If I end up needing like a few more materials and I just spend 100 hours trying to get them, then I might do that. But yeah, it's a legit run. So I kind of don't want to, if I die, even if we are doing this for a year and somehow I die, and I'm not able to do everything I want to do. The run is over and I got to start over. That's my rules. Um, obviously, we have an entire biome that is made out of that stuff. <clears throat> we can get pumpkins. We could change the computer date to Halloween or just wait until Halloween. And then pumpkins, when we go to a far parallel world... There will be pumpkins that spawn along the surface, and then I could grab some and bring them back to the base. We can't actually get the fruit flesh, 
But anyway, alright. Most of this stuff is just like kind of unobtainable. I don't know if we can get blood thick. I don't know what that's used for at the moment. We could get toxic meat. Everything else uh, right here we have. We're missing one of these. I think we're missing this blood fading slow. We have normal blood fading. I'm missing like one of these liquid fires. We have, I think we have this one. We're missing this one. Spark, we gotta make all the sparks. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> I don't wanna do that right now, but one day we're gonna dedicate a stream to just like making all the sparks in a flask. It's gonna be a little bit, uh, that's gonna be a rough, rough stream right there. Uh, we're missing some of this stuff. Like some of this, this I really want, this grass ice, because that's like immune to digging, like Lumi's, and we can hold uh, Midas in it. I can make, I can make a uh, permanent platform and wall enclosure for Midas, which Midas can't dig through, but then I can also line the inside or the ground around it with this stuff to make sure that if it, any of it does leak, it just leaks onto this, and then hopefully it doesn't eat through the world. Because it can't eat through that stuff. Anyway, yeah, there's a bunch of this grass we need. Some of it I can get. I can get grass. And then the temples, those new temples in the sky, have the dark grass. One of these. Grass darker, grass darker. Maybe both. That I need to look into more. Uh... We have all of that, except dirt. I don't have dirt. Imagine that. Explosion dirt. So dirt is just like, yeah, we're gonna have to get a flask of it. It's just this, it's just dirt. No grass growing in it or anything. I thought grass dark was Luki layer and grass darker was ominous temple. Okay, it's probably that then. Hello, young we, young well. How you doing? You could use the ice mage tech to keep liquid fires liquid. Yeah, that too. Hell yeah. Um, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Lim, we just got molten glass just now. First EOE yesterday was just like horrible. We didn't get anything. I have this. We need toxic gold. I need sulfur. I really want to mess around with sulfur. We need that. I don't know if we're going to... Whatever. Slimy meat. I need to make shock powder. That should be easy to get. That's not that bad at all. Ratty powder we got to get. Monstrous powder, of course. Herb. We got to get some herb. I have all the gunpowders now. I Last night when I was trying to find... I got Circle of Buoyancy, and I recorded the process of getting it. I just sat there and I teleported to Parallel Worlds uh, and went to the first two Holy Mountains, pretty much. And I got Molten Glass. We just got it uh, in a great treasure chest. I gotta blow my nose. I can't breathe because I was outside just for like an, the last two hours, pretty much. Uh, and then we got the last gunpowder from the, uh, you know, the, the structure in the mines that has two wooden walls with gunpowder in the middle. And then there's a room inside with a heart, maybe, and a Stendari, usually, and some other enemies, possibly. That, I just sucked all the gunpowder out of them. There were a couple of them, I found. A couple of those structures. And I got that. So we have all the gunpowders. We need this. Maybe we can get that now? Lim, can we harden? Oh, I was just about to ask you. I don't know. We might be able to. That would be really cool. Uh, I need this. Concrete sand. Unless there's a way for us to get it. Like you were saying. Like a, a way for us to make it slowly. This, I'm not worried about. We can make them. I think we, have, we should have all of these. 
Except for Healthium. I don't have Healthium yet. We have Lively Concoction. Yeah, we have everything else. We have that. We're missing some of these Molten Steels. There's so many Molten Steels. We, we have one. One Molten Steel. I think we're missing one of these Molten Metals as well. Or like all these Molten Metals. We have one of them. Bleh. There's so many. Oh my god. <laughs> uh -huh. What is the difference? Ash Emerald, thanks for the Prime sub. Y-E-S. Yes, yes, yes! Glass Broken Molten or Glass Molten? Thank you. We'll figure out which one we have in a minute here. We need... We could get Water Fading from the Dark Cave. How do you get it again, Lim? You just gotta... Pour Concentrated Mana in the dark cave and then all of the water that gets generated from the stone because is this and this can't turn into concentrated mana or okay as long as we just don't completely destroy the dark cave that should be probably annoying to get but we're toxic sludge okay so we we have to get rid of all the normal water First, like, can I drink all the normal water or or evaporate all the normal water or something? Well, maybe not evaporate, but. We're missing a couple of these toxic sludges. We're missing slush. That's going to be hard to get, probably. Because I don't think if I change my clock to my computer clock to uh, winter time, I don't think that any any new weather is going to happen on the surface. So I think this is unobtainable outside of a great chest. <clears throat> mm. Man. We have all the magical liquids now. We need creepy liquid, of course. Okay. And then the rest of this stuff, I don't think we can get... We can get toxic gold powder. But I don't think we can get anything else above this. Because I really want who knows. I mean, we, we can still kind of semi-acquire some of it. What's up, Spitfire? How you doing? Howdy. Um, like, holy matter. We can cut bits and pieces off of things to acquire some of this stuff. You know, I have gold. I have little uh, shavings of gold from gold nuggets in Par East Parallel 1. So we might be able to acquire, like, some bits of this, but it's not really... I don't think we'll, we're going to be able to do anything with it. Yeah, I have some gold box 2D. We need sausages. <laughs> but it's all going to turn into rotten meat, so whatever. Okay. Not that much. You have such a distinctive voice. Thank you. I have morning voice right now. Morning voice and unable to breathe at all through my nose voice. Ugh. I mean, I don't think we can... There's any way to, uh... Wow. I don't think there's any way to preserve meat. That would be awesome, though. If you could brine it and make, like... Uh... Also, TB Monkey, thank you. Again. And it's okay. Don't worry about the fishing thing. 
I, I actually I joined the uh, Discord server of the fishing mini game, and I opened a new support ticket or whatever for them to allow us to disable the help command. <laughs> anyway, um. Something is weird. There's something very, I don't know. Hang on. Anyway, uh, what was I saying before that? Oh yeah, wouldn't it be cool if you could use brine to like pickle meat and make like corned beef? <laughs> uh, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Let me actually go over here. Hey, Pyro, what's up? Do you know if... Dad's streaming today, I think. Uh, do you know if we're gonna try to meet up and do some PvP in Elden Ring? On Sunday or something? Saturday, Sunday? I'm down if we, if we do. Maybe I'll stop by and, like, lurk his stream when he starts later. It was funny just looking for help commands and just handed over the NATO secrets. Yeah. Noit the blue. I know I could do this better, but so far it's been fine. I should probably work on just like getting rid of the worms though at least, because they're they are annoying. But it's fine. There's never any materials in here anyway. Molten copper, snow, S give me the slush. I want the slush. Mm. Okay. Oops. Uh, John Snip. Where is it the highlighting? Where's the snow? Snow. Snow B2. Snow B, snow B, snow. Packed snow. All right, we'll look at the save. Snow sticky. And then there's only one copper, right? One molten copper. There's no other molten copper. So that we don't need. All right. Critter crops. All right. Hmm. Oh, let me try something. I forgot real quick in Twitch. Hopefully I can change this right now. Uh, what am I trying to change? Let me see. My settings. Oh, it's probably in... I'm trying to put ad uh, warnings in chat. Pre-roll notifications, no. Stream display ads, yes. Yes. How do I do this? I guess I'll look into it later. Or if anyone knows how I put a warning in chat for everyone 
um, like I see it sometimes. It, it warns me once. Things sound really weird right now. I don't know. Hey, I'll be right back. Let me pop my eardrums or something. No, so, yeah, it is. I have bubbles in my ears, so everything sounds muffled. Um, check, check. And my mic, whatever. Forever. It's gonna be... Things sound really weird to me right now, and it's probably... Maybe it's just allergies from being outside. Um, so, I get warned, uh, for the first ad. So, I just, I just, uh, snoozed it. And I usually snooze it three times the first ad of the day because you can't delay it more than a half hour after the stream starts. It's like the first one is like 30 minutes after <clears throat> after the stream starts. And then after that, it's I have it set to three minutes per hour. So once an hour, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it only warns me. I only know that first time. So, like, after this, like, we're going to get another notification in a few minutes here, probably. And I'm going to snooze it again. But that's my only warning for the whole stream. So, like, as I'm streaming, I never get, like, a one-minute warning later in the stream that there's going to be an ad break. And I'm trying to figure out why and how I can... Because I need to know so that I can, like, kind of not start a boss fight in a game or not do this, like... So I'll know like, oh, okay, there's going to be an ad in a minute. And I know that I'm able to, I just, I don't know how to set that right now. Next to purple crystal. I've also seen one that timed out new followers for 10 minutes. No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about at all. Always wondered, can you collect materials that were turned into powder using impact from big explosions? Not as far as we know, but apparently there there is, I mean, there is, I know there is a concrete powder uh, that you that I got in the last run, last time I was doing this. We're much further ahead in this one. Uh, I got that from a great treasure chest like this, and... Apparently, there might be a way for us to to get a few pixels of it or a little bit at a time from doing that, from exploding, like, brickwork or something. But that needs to be tested. Yeah, I just want it to pop up in chat all the time for everyone, if I can, that, oh, there's going to be an ad break in a minute. So just so everyone knows, like, okay, I could go grab a snack or whatever, go to the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. Like, I can do that, and chat, you guys all know, you know? So I could kind of... Anyway, like, right now, I don't know why it doesn't warn me after this first time. God damn it. Hang on. Yeah, so right now, incoming ad break in a minute. Snooze. So now it's snoozed for five minutes, and I got one more snooze left. And then after this, I don't get any more warnings for the entire stream. So, like, it's just like a secret to me when there's going to be an ad coming up. Anyway, uh, what's up, Juti Pooty? How you doing? How many hours are you into this run? This is my first time in here since seeing the video up the video update. It's hard to tell, but probably over a hundred hours. At this point. Propane rain. Yeah. Yeah. Have any of you guys seen Long Legs or Deadpool 3 yet? 
I want to watch both of those movies, but I'm wondering if I should, like, go to the movies or not. Come here. Yeah, I have to check my player file. Can you get out of here or die? Nice. <laughs> ah! What a great treasure chest. All right. Gonna go see it this weekend. Nice. Yeah. It's playing in this, like, really old theater here. And uh, I think it's playing until... Oh, crap. Tonight. Damn it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going tonight. Uh, what am I doing? Let me just check this. There's some materials. The only way we're going to be able to tell what they are is if we look in here to see what the internal name is. Because there's, like, several materials that are all named Snow. Uh, several, like, molten uh, aluminium, molten steel. Oh. Maybe... <laughs> this is gonna be a while. Maybe I should put... Snow Sticky? We're looking for Snow Sticky. And I have a flask, two flasks of snow. Okay, how many of, how many snows are there? Let's, uh... Just mat Oh! Material snow sticky? How do I get to there? Is there a fast way to get to that specific line? There we go. Material count 84, snow sticky. Hmm. Stomach. I ate snow sticky. Meh. Press find all, copy to new, replace slash s plus line slash d um never mind <laughs> thank you in the snow cave uh oh I got it. Hang on.
Whoops. I muted my mic for whatever reason. Anyway, it was like 78 degrees in here. It's extremely hot. I'm sitting here like sweating my ass off. I'm like, why? Why am I sweating already? And I was just complaining about that. Like, it's so fucking hot. I can't stand it. <laughs> so put the air down some more, but it's like the AC just can't even cool off the place enough. Ugh. That's why Alias was streaming yesterday last night with no camera because it's so hot because I'm, I have three monitors and lights on my face and like the green screen right behind me. So there's so much heat right here that I'm just like sitting here just like fucking melting. Like I need to, I need to move. I need to get out of here. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Cool 65 in Seattle. That sounds amazing. I'm like molten glass right here myself. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, and it's been raining too. We went a long time without raining and then like the past several days have been some, some nice storms, but then afterwards it's like hot and just like so humid in here. I just got a new AC put in too, like a whole new unit. I only, I'm renting, but yeah. <clears throat> Collect Molten Fury. Mm -hmm. Too hot to hoot. Too hot to anything. Sheesh. Sheesh. Hey, 100 lol. What up? How you doing? Hey, oh, Graham. Let me check Discord real quick. Or the Discord for this game. For the fishing game. Come on, developers. You better listen to my complaint. It's a good idea. Come on. I thought it was a good idea. It wasn't my idea. I stole the idea of the phishing, the free phishing coat password command from Sheba. <laughs> from Jay Sheba. What's up, Aethys? Yeah, Aethys. So you used the phishing game too. Yesterday we found out, like I've been using a, the beginning of every stream, I put a, uh, an exclamation point command in there and like people got to figure out, give, give you guys hints. And by the end of the stream, you know, it's like a fun little mini game, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, and then somebody, uh, yesterday, TB Monkey, did exclamation point help in chat. And then it told everyone in chat my secret code. <laughs> so I have to, I can't do that anymore. There we go. There's no command anymore. <laughs> I'm like, why do you do that? I'm like, so I went, to, I joined their Discord to complain and be like, hey, can you let us please disable the help command? Because this is what I do, and it was a lot of fun. All right, we got an ad break in a minute. By then, the game might start up. <laughs> uh, it's over a gig now. It's like 1.5 gigs, or 1.05 gigs. So every time the game starts up, this happens. So hopefully it, the game continues to start up. But I just gotta not touch anything. Just sit here like this and just pray to the Noita gods. Pray to Uko. Okay. All right, so this is normal snow. There's no, ch we don't have to break it, but I don't need it. And then this is normal molten glass. Oh, hey. Cat ain't. Cat Angent. Thank you. You're a wonderful person. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm just going to wait until after the ad break. I don't think it's possible to get snow in a flask other than starting with a... Yeah, you can't flask it, but what about a bag? Like, is it in the snow cave? And by snow cave, that, that's the place above the cauldron? <sighs> I 
Oh, it's so much better already. Let me put my fan on high. Like, could we get Snow Sticky? Yeah, I mean, I know how to get snow, like normal snow. But the ad break just started now. Apparently. I mean, snow is easy to get, but snow sticky. <clears throat> it's in the snowy depths? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's easy to get, I guess. Is it everywhere? I know there's packed snow, and then there's normal snow in there, but then where is the sticky snow? Is there a specific, um, like, formation or something? What's going on, gods? It's because of this. <laughs> it's because of um, all these worms. Normal enemies get turned into... Normal enemies are getting turned into Stavari, and the worms are killing them, and then the gods get angered. There's also the distinction between the sand surface. Yeah, mm hmm Yeah, I have all the sands. I have all the different sandstones. There's a sandstone surface and sandstone in underground. All right, we're gonna do this a little bit, a few more times. Let me just seal it off right now. Because of that. The sand variants have slightly different colors, too. Um, which variant of sand is the sand that's inside the cauldron room? Is that just normal sand? That you can find anywhere else underground? Or, I mean, I know it's just normal sand, but I don't know what variant, what specific... Is it like surface? Probably not. It's probably just like normal sand. It would be cool if it kept its uh, like VFX texture layer. The surface sand is just brighter to make it look like it's illuminated. Pretty sure that's the only reason there's a separate material for it. That's funny. Okay, hey. Schmack. Alright, we're gonna do it a few more times here. Hopefully we get something real cool. Like, creepy liquid. Oh god, that- I- I just cast... a lot. <laughs> I think I cast, like, 20 ends of everything. This might be, uh... Maybe not 20, but a, a few. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to cast that fast. Just in case. Where is my enclosure? Oh, no. What happened? Where are we? Where is it? Oh, no. Oh, perfect. Oh, crap. I need to find any. Where are they? Here. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully, I'm just going to stay here. Oh, God. They're all breaking. We have Draft of Midas in a Potion. 
That's crazy. Um, I can't see anything. I don't want to accidentally grab the wrong thing. We have lively concoction at home. Okay, I've got Midas in... I mean, I guess I didn't need that. I don't need either of those. Where the hell do I stand? Hang on. That's insane. It looks like all lively concoction and draft of Midas and Ambrosia. Uh, let me get rid of this liquid. And then up there we have lively concoction. There might be something else in there, though. The most rare stuff broke. Nah. It's so bright. What the hell? I know, yeah. I know. I didn't say anything yet, but getting... Draft of Midas and the Lively Concoction all at the same time from Great Treasure Chest is pretty crazy. It's pretty strange. And Deer Spell. Okay. Well, I don't need them. <laughs> I mean, we've I've actually gotten a lot of Great Treasure Chests that contain Lively Concoction. No Healthium. I was hoping that there'd be, like, a healthium in here. Because it's like that a lot. Where you get, a, you know, a, a material and then you get, you get certain, you get several flasks of one material and then you get a one flask of a related material in there. Like, so, like, a bunch of lively concoction and then, like, one or two healthiums. But it seems as if that is not the case for us right now. Maybe. Uh, whoops. Let's just break it all. I mean, you know, all I need is a drop of it, and then I could just duplicate it. And so let's just break it all. <laughs> let's mix it together. Like a monkey. Ooh, 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 eh. Smash. <laughs> uh, but hey, look at this. We're just like storing all of the the Midas inside of here. Smash it. Let's solve the work. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What is up? Something hurt me. I don't know what it was. I thought something hurt me. Maybe it's just because it's so damn bright. Or maybe there's... Yeah, there's a little acid up there. Okay. Noita makes me crazy. <laughs> oh, whoops. It's all dripping out. Oh. Welcome to the club, right? Here we have a perfectly normal Noi to run. A lot of the material variants seem to exist as some kind of a kludge. Like the fact that steel static doesn't melt into steel static molten probably looked bad, so instead it melts to something more metallic. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy that there's so many materials in the game that, you know, most people don't know anything about at all. And we're only really learning about more about them right like now, pretty much lately. If you do, if I do damage on long distance cast, do you need to extend the lifetime? Because last time I tried it, it barely went anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's why I have increased lifetime on it. Yep, you could use other lifetime increasing, like you can use, you know, well, the best I would say the best is increased lifetime. Yeah. I play around with Touch of Gold for the first time, and even on a trigger, it kills me with the second spell cast. Um, if you run out of mana, or if you have a Shuffle Wand, I'm sure you don't have a Shuffle Wand, but... Mm. 
no and no are you using a Greek letter spell because if you run out of or you do you have a wand refresh afterwards <clears throat> anyway uh, I guess I don't need that I'll spurn the gift of the gods there you go Could be a variety of reasons why that's doing that. Do do do. Um. Do you have the long distance cast before the Greek letter spell? Because you need to modify the, the Greek letter spell with the long distance cast. Oops. Let me just close the whole thing. Beautiful. Again. <laughs> I sort of did that one a little bit on purpose, but okay. Oh, I mean, never mind. So I'm, I'm very distracted right now. I can die in doing this and I want to be careful. Normal trigger's fine. If you're too close to it, it's still gonna you're gonna be in the radius of it though, too. That's another thing to worry about. Long distance cast ensures that it won't touch you, but you can use just any timer or trigger as well. Uh How many are of these? That's how many? Don't wait, I need to put them all down here. Okay, I need evergreen seed. I guess my evergreen seed flask broke. That's exciting. Not really, but whatever. We got swamp. Okay, ever- No, I don't want the swamp. That's the dark swamp, though. Already have it. Concentrated mana. Hey. Swamp. Evergreen seed. Good. Alright. Alright. Wait, I think I need... Where's the other wand? There's another wand back there someplace. Okay, so grab that. Toss that one over there. Yeah, I do. I need this. <laughs> okay. Nice. I'm shove that on here for now. Okay. One more for now, and then I go back to the base. What's up, Luthamir? How you doing? The sound, I know, it, it kind of, I can't do this for too long. Because all these sound effects, they're cool. But I, I think when Ali added the sound effects to this, he didn't take into consideration us doing this. <laughs> Making infinite lifetime platform, whatever, cocoons everywhere. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be working on the lab for a long time. A little bit. We're just doing a little bit today. I'm going to be playing some other games very soon. I've been, like, streaming mostly Noita lately, and I want to play other stuff. Glowing Fungal Spore. Tomorrow... I'm going to be hosting Noita Together, guys. i got to make an announcement on Discord and on my YouTube channel, the main one. 
that tomorrow we'll be hosting an extended session of Noita together. Today, playing a bunch of other games, a bunch of stuff, and then Saturday night on the Discord, I also got to announce this. Maybe, we'll see. It's not much notice, but I want to... I want to host a watch party of Big Trouble in Little China. Worms. So many worms. Oh my god, it's a cuddle puddle of worms. Fuck off. See? Well, hopefully nothing good drops. Where are they? The chests are someplace. Everything broke, I'm sure. Oh. Really? <gasps> Ooh, lively concoction again. Smoke potion. Why we why don't we get any healthium, man? So much lively concoction. It's crazy. Did we get normal smoke? Or is that a flask of liquid smoke? I think it looks like Well, I mean, I guess we can always get smoke in a flask. It's liquid smoke? Okay. Whatever. We already have that. We don't need that. Take that. All right, one more time. Usual stream time? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make an announcement on YouTube and hopefully we get a good amount of people in the beginning or whatever. I'm just gonna start up, start off the stream, maybe work on this a tiny bit until people show up and then we'll start Noita together. Maybe like the first half hour will be this or something. Or like doing something else besides end of everything farming because I think I need to break this up a little bit and not spend so much time doing end of everything farming because it's kind of maddening in a way. <laughs> the sound of the platforms is like the sound of my sanity leaving. It's like the screaming of the mad god Azathoth in the center of the universe. Anyway. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Luthamir, for answering that or whatever. Yeah, touch of. If you use a trigger spell and, you, and it hits anything else, then you can still be within the radius of that touch of. No, no, it's all good, Flipoid. I just, uh, you know, I, I'm distracted doing this. The only th other thing I could think of offhand is perhaps your multicast wasn't enough. Like if you had single trigger, Greek letter, touch of. If there's no multicast, you're going to cast trigger, Greek letter, then the next cast would be only the touch of. Yeah, it could have been that. What's up, Blaskowitz? How you doing? Are you thinking of sharing your save? I am. I mean, I don't know when, but sometime. Yeah, I will. I will be. The Goda! What's up, Vigoda? How you doing? It goes well. We're just doing some insanity. You know, some insanity sauce. That's it? That was it? Okay. Good job, Luthamir. Good job. All right, let's go straight up from here. Straight up. Again. I need to just, like, build a series of wands just for this. So I can do it a lot more efficiently and cleaner. So I have, like, a wand build that, you know, spams spells to acid to delete all the projectiles. And then another wand build that single frames or casts a uh, Nala liquid vacuum field to clean up the mess that happens in here from all those flasks that spawn as well. Earlier, you know, like before the great treasure chest and all this, I could just clean that up right now. 
and then another wand build just for the platforms, and then another wand build for like casting this, and wow, turning all of the worms into sheep and then killing the sheep to get rid of them so I don't have to worry about all that, that crap. You know. I mean, we've, we're doing, we're getting lucky getting some of these materials. Getting very lucky, I think. Getting some of this stuff so quickly. However, uh, I could do this way, way more efficiently. Yeah, you get out of here. No, no, no. Is this going to be a bad batch? I think this is a bad batch. Get out of here. <gasps> oh! Salt. Okay, just salt. And fungal soil potion. That's cool. All right. Uh, that seems to be fungal soil bad, right? It's it's not the same fungal soil. Pretty sure, or maybe it is. We gotta look at that. Uh, hang on. Damn. Wait a minute. Okay. This is like the end credits or something. I forgot. <laughs> this is the last one, right, Papa? What do you mean? Insanity, babanity, babanity, dodanity. Yep, exactly. The last what? Oh, this? I don't know, probably. <laughs> Maybe. One more. <laughs> for for old time's sake. For good luck. Because we have one more slot left. And for this last one, we're going to get creepy liquid. Or like some other... Or, or sulfur. We're going to get a bunch of flasks of sulfur. Which is my most wanted material. Because alk... I mean, uh, because sulfur is such a important material in alchemy and there's sulfur in the game and we're gonna solve the cauldron with it <laughs> and the secret of life and all things all right well i mean you know oh well <laughs> you said that thrice now, Papa. Well, son, stop complaining. Or else we're going to keep doing it all day. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh... Not all video game music. In fact, let me actually switch this. Because, like, some video game music actually triggers... Let's play this. There's a game, even indie game music. There's a game called Narita Boy. That's otherwise a pretty decent, like, linear adventure platformer type of game. Like, kind of weird platformer game. The entire soundtrack is uh, like I, I played that game on stream and then every single video got claimed, got copyright claimed, the entire soundtrack. I'm like, all right, well, screw you then. I shouldn't be bathing in Polly. Anyway, all right. <clears throat> Most of the time it's safe, but not all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Just one more EOE, bro. Just one more. We're gonna get all the materials, bro. Just one more. It's very addictive. When this is your life's goal. <laughs> or, like, when you have a run going where, like, this is... Getting all the materials is the main objective. And, you know, we need all the materials in order to continue on. So it's like, you don't want to stop because you want to get all the materials. But... Uh... Alright. Whoops. Right. <laughs> How is the poly immunity timer frozen? It's all good. Uh, hey. We got a trolley. It's once you get it to 524,000 ish seconds, it there's like an overflow, it breaks, and then it just stays forever. You get, like, basically unlimited poly immunity. However, there's also another bug in the game where uh, there's another overflow, and if you're touching poly at a certain frame, then you can still get polyed. So that's why I shouldn't be, like, bathing in poly during all that. If there's any poly liquid that spawns, I need to, like, get rid of it or not be standing in it. Because <laughs> then we're going to die, and this run's going to be over. Potentially. Triggerfish. Did you manage to get this poly while poly immune? I did not. But Priskip... It happened to Priskip, it happened to a few people. I have not been polyed yet. That way. But we know that it's possible. We know why it happens. It's just kind of like... Just a quirk. I don't know. It probably can be fixed pretty easily, but... I'm already addicted to this. We can't stop now. For now, we have stopped. The Colmy's health bar keeps popping up. All right. Volleyball. Volleyball. Okay, so over here, we're going to put the evergreen seed that is not going to break again. We'll put it, put it right here. Wait, what's that? Yeah, we'll put it right here. You better not break. Molten glass. Yes. Fungal soil. Uh, let me shut the game down real fast. Not over here. We'll wait. <sighs> Okay. This is the hazardous materials area. Things that will explode. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then over here... Sodium powder. Don't want to get that wet. Then I have these three gunpowders here, and then we have the two other ones in bags because they explode as soon as they are released. And we got wax. Okay. Anyway. And now, let me check these guys. Sweet, because we need to put this here, probably. I'm going to make another um, flask of it. At least one more right now. Or, like, after I shut down real quick. I just want to see what... This is, if it's like fungal soil bad, or if it's just normal. It's probably normal. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, Uramicus. Basically, I put a polymorph master, a polymage, next to a necrobot. I brought them both to my, uh, my lab. I gotta delete some of these backups. We have 25 gigs of backups right here, plus whatever the other ones are. 
25 gigs of save backup. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's so much. Damn. Uh, also, if you want to watch the video about this, I explain everything in the video. Right there. It's concise. I get straight to the point. But it's very important to tell everything I told in that video for 30 minutes. <laughs> I have, like, I don't know how much space. I have a, um, a bunch of removable drives that I can store stuff on, too, and online. Oops, it's over here. Uh, my hard drive is... Uh, uh, a terabyte? More more than that. Five five terabytes? I, I forgot. I don't even know. I don't... Whatever. And then I have multiple... Like, I have my C drive that nothing goes to except for just Windows and a few programs, pretty much. Even my, my videos and my documents, all my documents are stored on another drive. They're not on the Windows drive. And then... Um... Then I have an M.2 drive for games, including Noita, which I'm not sure if Noita requires an M.2, but I have it on one. And then I have well, numerous removable drives for footage and recording stuff and backup archiving and stuff. Okay. I have every Noita video I've ever recorded. I've deleted most of my other videos uh, over time. I still have my 100,000 subscriber special and my face reveal. Wow. That's crazy. I got... Only my last... Maybe I have every Animal Well video I made so far. Those... Death Trash. I can't wait until that game is finished so I can play that again. Yeah, I don't have much stored here otherwise. Just like one... A few Terraria videos from way back in the day. When I crushed... Oh, that's just a thumbnail, buddy. <laughs> Crushing an entire... Terraria world with a hydraulic press. So I had my my building world. Teleport around the map. Shut up. And then I used like a wiring mod to I wired hydraulic uh, hydraulic hydraulic presses all across my entire world and watched watched as every single build got crushed. It triggered so many people. They're like, oh my god, I can't believe you destroyed that world. Because I spent like a thousand hours building this. <laughs> and there's the map view. Goodbye, castle in hell. <laughs> anyway. Wraith Reeve. <laughs> anyway. Get Shut up. Shut up, Fury. Uh, and yeah, I have every Noita video I've ever made in different folders and just... But everything else I mainly delete. You could download, like, YouTube stores all your stuff. And you can download every video you've ever uploaded to YouTube with one click. The whole archive. <clears throat> Noitoraria. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I backed up the save, but I didn't look at this. Uh, let me just do this. So we have fungal. Let me just look at fungal. What? No? Fungus? Fungus loose. That's it? What? Soil? Uh, uh, 
Be no, I don't keep all the thumbnails either. What is that stuff called that I have? Didn't I have fungal soil in a in a flask? Do do fungi. Oh, is that what they're both called? Fungi. Uh, so I guess there's just this one kind. I thought there was like an evil version. Fungi. Fungi green. Fungi yellow. Fungi drunken. Fungi cave. Oh my god. Too many fungi. Uh. Blue fungi, blood fungi, fungi. Wait, what? All the fun guys. Got 14 terabyte time four drives plus one parody glorious 56 terabytes. I don't have that much, but damn. The puke train was rolling. Dude, that game, I didn't play that much of it. I think I only played the demo or what I think it was. Come on, Noita, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I have like four or five episodes or whatever that I did on stream. Played through the whole demo, I think, maybe. And then I haven't wanted to play. I'm waiting for 1.0 because that game is very special. Imagine like a game that allows you to puke on command. <laughs> it's like Noita, you know? It's like, isn't there a puke button? You just like press this one button to puke. <laughs> and what does it do? Is it like a power up or something? It's great. All right. Fungal soil potion. Uh, fungal. There was no fungal, right? Okay. Fungi. Fungi. Uh, biome. Biome, biome, biome. Material blue fungi static. Material blood fungi. Material fungi. Count three, four, six. That's my stomach. Fungi green, yellow. I think that's my stomach. I don't know where this is. Oops. I'd like to find out what material I have. Come on, dummy. Yeah, so there's fungi soil right there. It's probably just that. Uh, where's the next? Yeah, Fungi Creeping Secret. Oh, I need that stuff. I can't wait until we get that. I'm going to play around with that a lot. Fungus? Oh. Shh. I didn't want to close. Whatever. It's fine. I'm getting... Fungus. Huh? Oh, we are on the line. What? I'm confused right now. Too much end of everything farming. I just see nothing. <laughs> I'm like, uh, totally glazed over. Don't look complacent, wearing those wags you ain't adjacent. Lucky 
I'm flying to a loose look in her eyes and I feel like taking it for Yeah, we have fungal soil fungus powder. Fungus powder bad. Okay. So no. Fungus powder, fungus powder bad. What what we have is neither one of those. Right? What do I have? Ugh! My brain is gone. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what I have. We got this. Fungal soil potion. But it's not showing up in my save file anywhere. Oops. Wrong thing. Oh. Why am I searching this? Oh my god. Get out of here. I need to switch to another game. I need more coffee. Let me drink my coffee. <clears throat> Bungie. Oh yeah, a million. So... It's not that, because on the on the wiki, it just lists lists fungal soil as fungi soil. So that's not what we what we have. Uh, soil. I wish it highlighted it more. I can't see. Oh, there we go. So we don't have this, or that, it seems. If it's called fungal soil and red, it's probably that or shock powder. Oh, it's probably shock powder. Actually, I forgot that shock powder is called fungal soil in the game internally. So it's not gonna say this in my, it's shock powder. <laughs> Okay, well, we have a flask of shock powder now. Nice. Okay. That's why I couldn't find it. I was just like, what the hell, man? Where is this? So yeah, we got a flask of shock powder. Amazing. That is made in... Very naturally made inside of the... Uh, it shocks you. <laughs> what do you think it does? It creates a uh, electrical charge. I'll show you. Here, let's uh, go on a little trip real fast. I don't have end of everything. It's okay. Let's get... Don't I have a flamethrower? I don't. There was a one that spawned a little while ago with a million flamethrowers on it. Uh, fire, 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 fire. Whatever. Well, we can make fire. With... Let me... Let me grab... Let's just grab, like, a loom... No. What else? What other project... Or what other damage do I have? This. Let's use this. All right. And then let's go, I guess, this way. Or... Or... This way. And here, let's go below where I flooded the entire world with blood someplace. You can make it really easily in here because the power plant biome has a bunch of brass all over the place. And the, the recipe for shock power is brass and fire. So all you gotta do is just incorporate a little bit of fire right there. Oops, you didn't, you didn't fire. <laughs> Oh, this weapon's not gonna make them explode. Whoops. Here, we're not there we have fire. Gonna get this gold out of the way. Brass. Anyway, yeah, so like it should it just creates that's why when you're working through this biome, unless you just dig right through it, which kind of defeats the purpose, but it's kind of a dangerous biome if you don't have electricity immunity because you're killing these enemies that bleed oil, and then fire spreads all over the place, and there's piles of brass everywhere. 
and then you end up with just shock powder. Just like this whole place gets electrified, in theory. Anyway, I wanted to demonstrate that actually happening, but it wasn't happening up there. Do I have another... Nah. No. We don't want to kill that guy. Just in case. But the rest of you, come here. Hey. Somebody follow me and... Yeah, come here. You don't like me. Do it. Attack me. Yes, you're mad. Mad, angry little toaster. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I've lost my mind. I'm working on this run. <laughs> Wee! <-oo. laughs> All right, let's go play something else. I'm I'm done for now. Let's uh, just go back to the base. It's been long enough. All right, so shock powder. Shock powder, I will store someplace else. Shock powder ignites at room temperature. However, I think it ignites. What's up, Jedi? Muff Jedi, how you doing? Welcome. We're going to put the shock powder over here for now. Just in case. All right. Shock powder UI bug anytime soon. It's yeah. Um, it was driving me crazy. I'm like we have fungal soil. Where is it in my save file? I was just trying to see what it was, and I forgot all about that. That it's not actually called shock powder in the game. It's called. Oh wait. Let's make. We have to do this first. It's called fungal soil instead of shock powder. Totally a bug, right? Let's make two more of these right now. What's on my evil agenda? Well, we're going to... We have molten glass. We're going to see if that molten glass can make... Uh, glass powder. If so, I'm going to be very happy. And then after that, we're going to play another game. Maybe Reventure, maybe Pseudo Regalia will continue that. Maybe a bunch of games. Alright. Cool. I tried playing some Exanima yesterday, but... Yesterday was a stream that, like, some stuff happened. Like, right when the stream started, something happened that was negative, a negative experience. And then I was playing Rain World and uh, let me just should we just like pour one of these out right here and have it maybe we can freeze it with this? Well, no, because then that's we'll just see what happens when I pour all this out. I guess maybe we do want to freeze it. Because then we'll get the powder from it, maybe, if it's the right kind. If it's not the right kind, we're going to end up with just like liquid molten uh, glass, which is also cool. Okay, molten glass. There we go. I don't think there's... add water. Oh. Can I add it to this, do you think? Or when I leave, it's going to reignite. Let's just go back here real quick. I'll fork one of these into right here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Grab some water.
Beep, 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 beep. All right. That's so cool. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I know. We never get to see it. It does look so cool. All right, let's see. Yo, thank you, Muff Jedi. Appreciate you. I don't think it's the right kind, right? Y E S. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, I just don't, I don't want any of the water getting in there. Uh, okay. Just don't want to make too much steam right here. <laughs> Should be good. It's you know we just don't want it to. Here, let me... Let's do that, and then... I guess not, right? Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it one day. <laughs> At least we got this, this kind. And it's safe up there. Because we don't have any problem with any of... Okay. With any of those, uh, only the one ice mage next to the glass. I mean, next to the gold sometimes disappears. Anyway, uh, so I've been sleeping like trash again the last, I don't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep, actually. It's been a few weeks, probably. Maybe like one night in the last few weeks, I've had like a pretty decent night of sleep. It's been pretty bad. I don't know why exactly. I just like have been tossing and turning a lot. So last night I've been waking up a lot while I sleep. Uh, yummy. But we're just chilling today. I just feel like chilling, playing some games, and not worrying about a damn thing. Don't care. Yo, nice. This, unfortunately, I might harden some of that right there. And then, like, turn it into the powder, or just up warp a little bit like a little stopper right there because eventually I mean it doesn't seem to be draining anymore for visual sake I guess I would like to keep all this molten metal there and not have it all end up over here but I guess you know pressure it's it's gonna stay like that physics guys physics did you put unstable concoction in your lab yet you mean uh, yeah I did miss it in the video. Yeah, I've had it for a long time. Alchemic precursor, you mean? Or lively concoction? Hang on, let me put this back. Yeah, the first take, when I, when I flew through the base, the first time I recorded the tour, I just flew through the base without commentating live. And I just like showed everything and moused over everything. But then I ended up recording and, and talking about everything as I went through the base. And I forgot to teleport all over here. But yeah, I have Alchemic Precursor lined with... I was going to put Midas right here, but it's too dangerous. The Midas sometimes will seep, will get through this, these permanent platforms. And I'll end up like digging through the ground over here. So yeah. We just have Alchemic Precursor right there. Just in case it turns into Midas, I have the infinite, infinite platforms right there. And then I have Lively Concoction up here, which I showed in the video. And then there was somebody who was like, you didn't, you know, all that stuff and you have no magical liquid? Well, actually, we have pink and green magical liquid, which are actually powders. We have them up there. And then we have this magical liquid here, which is normal magical liquid. And then we have magical liquid bright right here. 
which looks exactly the same, but it's a different material. Anyway. Can glass contain Midas? It can, but not the glass that we have. There's also another thing that can contain Midas is uh, if you play during the winter and you have snow and slush, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it looks really cool. Damn. Anyway. If you have gra the grass on the surface contains uh, or like during the winter time, it'll freeze. And then that, t that variety of grass is like ice grass, and that grass can contain Midas as well. So there is a way, like, I might end up... Uh, we'll go over here again. I might end up digging a trench right here and lining that with, like, frozen grass or some other material that can contain Midas as like a second line of defense. And I might end up putting Midas here, at least a little bit of it, possibly, just to have it in the base, but it could, you know, destroy a lot of things if we have a leak, so. Do you know all materials from data mining or is it possible that there is material that you don't know exists? There's very possible, we don't know. That's why I'm doing all this. Like, we have, Everyone has the very easy capability of going to uh, their local Noita file or directory and then running data whack unpack, which comes with every version of Noita. You know, you just run that and then you get the data folder in your in here where your save is, I think it automatically unpacks it right here into, you know, your, oops, your app data, lo local low Nala games folder. And then in the data right here, this is like, you know, where you can see all the graphics of the game. Um, there's a few things that are not in here, like the cauldron and the eyes are not in here because they're hidden, they're generated by the engine itself. That whole room that the cauldron is, is generated on the fly by the engine of the game. It's not in the data. None of the graphics exist in the data. There's no, like you can go, you know, here and you see like the different, uh, the structures around the world and blah, blah, blah. That structure is not in the data of the game. It's just generated on the fly in, in the engine. But anyway, uh, whoops. In the data folder, you can go all the way down to the bottom, materials, and in here, it lists at the bottom all the reactions, most, not all the reactions, it lists these reactions, previously known as all of the reactions and their probabilities and everything, but there are things not in here. And there are other, like, kind of bugs, like the slime freezing slime and having it melt into pea soup that's probably a bug but it's cool and it ends up with giving us a it's not going to be fixed i highly doubt they would fix that and it ends up giving us an otherwise rare material pea soup pretty rare uh and then greed cursed liquid you normally only get from activating the curse of greed in the tree and then all liquids become that pretty much or you know when it, it follows you along if you've never done it you activate the curse of greed and then this curse continuously follows you through the run and it turns you know solid uh ground into greed cursed rock and it turns liquids into greed cursed liquid but you can just freeze toxic sludge and have that melt into greed cursed liquid so there might be other things we can also get in a similar way uh, through alchemy. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. What up, big chungus? Thanks for the raid. Yeah, those aren't anywhere in the materials XML file. Yeah. 
And then the AP and LC reactions are engine only. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Let me put these back. These empties. So, because we know that there are some things, even if it's a bug, it's not the type of bug that we found throughout the years of Noita being around. The community has found a lot of bugs in the game that the developers end up turning into features. There, there have been very few bugs that we've found that they've completely removed. They end up just keeping everything because it's cool. See, I didn't get a warning about the ad break. Anyway. Bleh. I love this so much. Somebody in the comments of the video, they were like, you should... You should line, get rid of all the rock and line the base in just the divine ground. I'm like, be, get rid of all the blood everywhere. I'm like, I don't care. It's all going to get covered in blood anyway, even if it is this. It already is. Because <laughs> my wands just drip blood everywhere. And I'm okay with that. And then other people like the blood. They're like, it is truly like a a dirty, dingy, blood-filled, nightmarish, evil alchemist slayer. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah. It's damn straight. I'm gonna drink this. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some molten glass because my stomach is a just a black hole. Alright. Schmack. Blood adds the perfect aesthetic. Yep. Yeah, so I... Yesterday's stream was kind of funky. There was some, like, drama. and There was a couple bits of drama. There's somebody who's kind of... Uh... Messing with me. And... Either they're, they're messing with me, which they probably are, trying to troll me and think it's funny or something. Uh, or they're just really clueless. But they keep ban evading and making like new versions of their name with just different numbers afterwards. And they've done it like three times now. And so that happened in the beginning of yesterday's stream. And then... Red Bull. And then uh, Blood Bull. But the Blood Mage is out there. And then there was like an kind of an argument that brought up religion between a couple people, which I'm glad didn't get out of hand. And then, yeah, then I was playing Rain World and then I just didn't want to, I don't know. I couldn't focus on like chatting. I didn't, I didn't feel like just focusing on the game. And in Rain World, you kind of have to do that. Well, I was trying to hunt lizards and, and tame a lizard. And I'm like, okay, we'll switch to Exanima. And then I start playing Exanima. And then there was somebody in chat who, I'm sure, you know, everyone means well, but most of the time, I just don't want to be backseated because it does really, getting backseated does like hurt my enjoyment of playing games. Like, you know, sometimes if I say it's okay, like, and I want to work together with chat on something, cool. But then like a lot of the time, getting back seated just makes me not enjoy it and I just don't want to play the game anymore. So somebody was back seating me a little bit in Exanima. Somebody who really knows how to play the game and they were like, make sure you do this, do that. And like, you know, and I just didn't feel it. I'm like, okay. I played for maybe 10 minutes and then we switched to just Noita again. Mega sad. Anyway. But I will, I do want to play Exanima, uh, but not right now. Right now, we're gonna do this. This is the message you get in Noita if you have a slow computer or if your save file is like over a gig and it takes forever to load. <laughs> Come on, Noita. Come on, Noita, you can do it. Somebody got a vape. Nice. Uh-oh. 
GTA. There we go. I haven't really played much GTA. I've never finished any of the stories. I always get bored and just like run around and uh, just kill people and then blow up stuff. And then I'm like, all right, that's it. Things moved. They always they shift a little bit and move around, but let me just check this. Nope. Wow! All right. Yes, this this is actually not fungal soil. That's shock powder. There's just a bug where shock powder is called fungal soil when you get it in a flask or a bag. Hang on. Boop, boop, boo, doo, doo, boo. Emote only. Ha ha. See, now you can spam all the emotes. Because you don't be afraid to break this game. I need to start tomorrow's stream way, way earlier. I've been starting way too late. And then I don't get to, like, a fraction of what I wanted to do. I want to play a bunch of... I want to play all the games. <laughs> I want to play every video game. Uh, yeah, earlier we got Molten Glass. Hell yeah, dude. Alright. We have almost all the Molten stuff now. We have almost everything, actually. Very close to... To getting to having all the materials. Uh okay. Boop. Beep. Let's go to East 2, perhaps. We'll see if we get luck. Eh. How many worlds do I want to completely destroy like this? <laughs> Let's just try it. Let's go right. <laughs> Let's go right here. I wish I could remove these sound effects when I do this. Also, we need more volume. All right. I'm only going to do this a few times. We did it earlier. I got the glue. I mean, not the glue, the molten glass. Come on, man. Stop getting stuck. Come on. Come on. Uh... Volleyball. Beep ba boop. Oh no, why is there so... Ugh, but it's, it's cold up here. All right, that's cool. I'm gonna go over here real quick. Look at this ancient ruin. But I'm flooding. Whoops. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> all right. Look at all those beautiful emotes. Nice. I wonder if Dad Wrestler is live right now. I think he he said he was going to be streaming today. Want to ask him something? Wems, 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 I'm a getting. Hey, no, 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 no. Get that out. Whoops. No, no, no. Stop it. No nukes. Cut it up. All right. Let's see. Why is my frame so bad? <laughs> oh no, just one, two wands. Nice, thanks for the great treasure chest. Gross. All right, one more. And then I'll turn chat back on. <laughs> and then I have to like, Try to do a hitless run. 
I think I know what Alias is gonna try. What his uh, strategy is gonna be. <laughs> Let's go right over here. Clouds. And... Uh, -do 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 -do. 73,000 HP. That's still nothing. Look at, look at my HP just drain away. We're just dancing. We're just dancing. This is fine. Things exploding all around me, no big deal. We're just gonna dance. Just like that guy in Dazed and Confused. I just wanna dance. Come on, worms, go. Leave. Leave me. Leave me to my great treasure chest. Yeah. Worm, do not fuck with me, worm. Give me, okay. No, right, no, no, no. I want it up here, okay. This one is gonna contain something amazing. <laughs> That's so good. That was the greatest great treasure chest ever. One more. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to build a new one of these every time, but whatever. Here, let me just seal it right now. Okay. Stupid RNG. I mean, I could... could use an external tool to tell me the like where everything is i think like uh somebody a member of the community named pudi built a, a tool that can like down to the pixel tell you what is going to be in every chest but i don't want to use that obviously because this is like an actual run too but you know if we're doing this for a year <laughs> Not that. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer to get most of the things I need. There's just a few materials I really, really want. Oh, man. Come on. I gotta get rid of this jank. Hurry up. All right. Go away, worms. Shoot. Urine, it's just, that's it. Gunpowder and blood potion. What? I got blood in my urine. Huh. I wonder what type of gunpowder this is. I have all the types of gunpowder though. Yet another health only great chest. Man. I'm starting to get. We had so much good luck earlier. <laughs> earlier on, and now yesterday and today so far, we're getting just crap. I mean, you know. It's because we have almost everything now. That's right, make great chests great again. Well, there's that gunpowder. <laughs> All right, I'm actually going to do one more. <laughs> Five hours later. No.
Uh... Oh, I see. Yes. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. All right. One of those, and let's go. I'm just gonna stay over here. I always, you know, make that first, and then I come out here until after the green lion, this, so that whole thing doesn't fill with acid. All right. Which, you know, sometimes we get a bunch of acid in here anyway. That's why I left this little hole right there to help with that. It is, yeah, we have instant deathium. That's how we got it from a great treasure chest. And so that could end the run. There's a few different ways that the run can end during this. The worst is poly. Even though I have poly immunity, we can still perhaps get polyed. We have all these flasks that spawn and like one of them can be poly and this whole area can fill with that. And then... Are you serious, man? Ugh. No. Not one more. Oh, man. Now we gotta back that up again, and then I gotta... <sighs> All right. Jeez. Yeah, I really I have to delete some of these now. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but I don't want to fill my entire drive with just... Noita backup. Noita save backups. <laughs> One, 1. 1.06 gigs. Alright, let me grab a snack real quick. And a cough drop because my voice, my throat is all sore. I'm talking nonstop for like every day this week, pretty much. Perfect timing, damn. I'll be right back again. All right. 
Let me check on Alias real quick. Um, we're just gonna spy on him. Is he doing it? Setting up North to No Hit Run, then maybe some Rain World. Oh, so maybe he already tried it, or... <laughs> Alright. And then... Dad is on? I just want to check real quick. Look at this. Damn. <laughs> Doing a jam tier list, maybe? Whoops, wrong one. Jam connoisseur dad. 